Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Council of Reads here at the comic shop in Liverpool. I'm Dylan, here with Jason. G'day! Nitin. What's up? Fummy. Hey! And Dave! So I've been thinking about this. If I was on my deathbed, right? Just and I had one last movie to watch, yeah. then spirit it away. But let's say you wanted to make a what call. What well, feels like Avengers Endgame and the moment he clicks, you go flatline. That's a terrible choice. That's shit. I don't want to watch that movie. Endgame? Though. Well, what would you pick? Something good that I'll enjoy. Spinal, he, he, sp- he, he, if he, I know I'm going to die. Yeah, I know, I know. Infinity War. Which is a good movie. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, then, Infinity War. Not in game, okay. Yeah. Infinity maybe, War. Maybe, maybe, maybe he means Tony Stark. I think I would. Yeah, that's what I thought with Tony Stark. Oh, yeah, like, that's what I thought So when he saves everybody, he Yeah, wait. Yeah, wait. That sounds exactly like Dave. You mean when people Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all right. Yeah, that's all right. Cool. Yeah. I would probably choose Star Wars. I would probably choose New Hope. Terminator 2. I'd choose. Mm, yeah, that's a good choice. Spinal tap and pretend I was one of the drummers. <laughs> a different type of movie. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. How, long, how long did Can't it take? Finishing. How long did it take to go there? Not that long. Um, a featured comics this <laughs> week. That was Bangalore. Yeah. Wolf- Wolverine. Wolverine. I almost said Wolverine. Wolverine number one. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> As a small week, people. Tiny. Uh... Black Panther, Blood Hunt, number uh, one. It was alright as well, I guess. <laughs> Elfram was better. Okay, and we've only got... Good salesman here. There's some good ones coming. Got our fucking film flashback. <laughs> so I crossed these like, there's some good toy commercials coming, we promise you. <laughs> flashback. Find me as your film hey, flashback. Hey, Titus. Titus. If you want to say it correctly. Um, yeah, we will get into that because yes. we, we just had a small chat about it before we started. So yeah, we'll get to that. Mm. That will actually be some content. Awesome. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> so virtually all comic companies besides Marvel had nothing last week. Uh, so it wasn't much to pick from. So Helverine issue one. Was it like a five week? Yeah, it's oh, a five yeah. week. Oh, okay. Uh, so this is Benjamin Percy. Uh, I can't remember his one. Uh, Ahida. The art's kind of messy, but kind of fits. Like, dark, ugly, but it's fine. Is it messy and pretty? Sorry, yeah. The um, it's been out of... There was a Wolverine Ghost Rider crossover a few months ago where Wolverine gets this demonic power and he's the Helverine. Is it sort of back, like, in the 90s vibe? Or era? Sort of. And then end of that, Wolverine loses Ghost Rider, the Spirit of Vengeance takes it out of him. So this is setting up there's a new one. But it's all about the... In Ghost Rider, there'd been like a government agency like under the Pentagon. Yeah, uh, what are they called? Hellfire. Project Hellfire. Yeah. But like under the... Hel- there's like pentagram sort of thing instead of the Pentagon or something. Nice. Like that, right? um, the Pentangle. Yes, that's it. Oh. <laughs> um, so they've been making people and like bad people because they're bad people. Mm. Uh, and then... A new Helverine's yeah, cool. new Helverines come and kicking the shit out of their people, um, and they get captured Wolverine. And he's like, "It's not me." I, the Ghost Rider took it out. He's like, "Hey, let me see that video again. Zoom in." Ah, oh. mm-hmm. Wolverine. Wolverine finds out who it is. Spoilers. Yeah, it's somebody that just died in a Benjamin Percy book. Oh, um, a bit reminiscent of Franken Castle, I thought. So, getting stitched up. All right. Yeah. Because okay, Halvorin is a demon, Bar Gaga or some shit. I, I, I was going to ask if, if Wolverine doesn't know Wolverine anymore. Why is it just Helverine? Yeah. You know, instead of something else. But I well, guess that's... I would assume it'd be like a Spider Gwen situation. No one's actually going to call it Helverine. Right. You know what I mean? Mm. Like but, Weapon H. Kind yeah, of. you know, but. It, just sells the, the book because cool oh I get what it is but yeah like who, who it is sort of make, makes sense yeah, with yeah, the name of the book now still, yeah, 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 yeah 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 I don't think anyone's going to be excited for it, or yeah. it if I spelled it <laughs> Frank and Deccan yeah. um, see what comes around goes around <laughs> yeah that's just fucking uh, we did the chopper now you can bitch. dip it up karma dip there's your uh, podcast name alrighty Blood Hunt Times. What? Black Panther. Um, is this Panther. Um, it was eaten. Good eaten. Forest favorite. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, okay. So, like, Blade is sending vampire peoples. Uh, Black Panther to go do some stuff. 
against his will, sort of. Blade eats the purple herb heart thing, so he's sort of back, but not really. He's still vampire. Um, Sorry, Black Panther ate the herb. Yeah, not, yeah cool, cool. Yeah. So he said Blade. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so he's still, still a vampire, but a bit under control. He's running around, uh, doing a lot of whining. Like a certain Spider-Man in the future. Yeah, oh, it's okay. just, yeah. you know, it's fine. Okay. Like, yeah, he's just a whiny bitch. But that's not bad. That was probably the best thing about mm. the book. But it was just so, I didn't get anything from it. Mm. Okay, he's a vampire. I already knew he was a vampire. And he's still a vampire. And I don't really understand mm. what's going on. Uh, I kind of think I... No, but he's a good vampire now. Have a flick through here, right? Eh? Mm. Yeah. But he's now a good vampire. Yeah, there's gonna be a few of them, I think. Wasn't he always a good vampire? That's how you get away. Black ah, Panther Black was Panther. never a vampire. He was never a vampire champion. Oh, I thought you were talking about Blade. Now this there was Black Panther, a right? second Blood Hunt tie-in last week. Midnight Suns. This one I enjoyed way more. Mm. Uh, that might be the '90s sucker in me. Um, so a friend of Blade goes to the Ghost Riders. And she wants him to kill Blade. So, um, so the Midnight Suns are coming back together. So it's Catch and Blaze and Lilith at the end. and It just felt 90s, Midnight Sunsy. They blacked out a finger. Yeah, that was it. Come yeah. on, man. Don't do it then. Oh, but I, the choice of blacking out would have been the first choice. It wouldn't have been a censorship later. You know, it would have been someone thinking they're smart. Mm. Yeah, I mean, that would have been someone from the get go. The intention. Someone should have thought more. Yeah. Because I don't think Marvel would be that fast. That's all right. Yeah, yeah, like if just the type of art you should get in a mm-hmm. Midnight Sun thing, it's, it's a bit messy, it's a bit muddy. Mm. But it was fine. It was the God. better of the two. Damn, there's a lot of times with this movie. There hasn't been a great one yet, to be honest. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Next up, how was Batman Dark Age number three? Very good. Really good. Is this the end? No. no. Oh. It's still in this previews. There's like five, oh, maybe six. They, I guess they're not. Yeah, another the thick, yeah, yeah, yeah. So in this one, Batman is Batman, mm. and he's fighting, and he finds out what Wayne Tech, Wayne Corp is doing. You know, they're selling pharma, addictive pharmaceuticals to get people addicted, and then they employ drug dealers to sell to people addicted when their prescription runs out, you know, and mm-hmm. profiting off all of that. And he's sort of trying to work within the system, but still fight the system. And then, yeah, he has a chat with Superman. Mm, he goes, chat. yeah. No, you have a That was excellent. He goes to Hall of Justice and gets bored by Green Lantern talking about shit. It's great. What is, what is um, I love that Alfred looks like Marlon Brando. Mm. Um, was that, um... Oh, not Gawa. Dharma. When he's talking about, I don't. This is the reason I don't kill people. He's like, I'm trying to show that, like, if I kill people, then they think that there's a reason for them. Like, if he, if he's got a reason why he's doing it, then I've got a reason why I should be doing it. I thought that was really good. That's why. That's the main reason he doesn't kill people. So yeah, that there. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be Jeffrey Dharma. Oh, what the one in handcuffs? No, the one in the chair. The one watching the, the thing where that's where he's talking about the guy that looks like Jeffrey Dharma. Um. The when Alfred rocks up at the Hall of Justice, he's like, it looks like a. He has a excellent line in there, just very quick, very good little quippy line. I love the here it is, there it is, there. Can you see at the bottom right? Yes. What's it say? It has the charm and appearance of a drainage pipe. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, caddy Alfred. Yeah. We get a good um, Green Arrow appearance because of their connection back with the Ra's al Ghul. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just a very pretty book, but it always is with the Orids. Yeah. The, the, but the the writing's really yeah, good no, too. No, it's, it's, um, the Jim Gordon stuff's excellent. Um, yeah, it, it's just coming together really well, and yeah, like you said, really, just really pretty. Yeah, the art's amazing. Um, I think I don't know. I I really like that other style in regards of the the three big ones as opposed to five or six of the uh, normal issues. But yeah, it is what it is. Um, yeah, I guess it would have been a, like a budgetary yeah. choice, right? Definitely, like, didn't definitely. sell enough for the yeah. price, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and, and then he, because, um, you know, it's totally different. One of the faceless that was selling the drugs in the street turns out to be Dick. That was good. Cool. That was really yeah. Good. That was really so good. So he sort of cool. is going to rescue him turn. right there. 
Oh, and goddamn carnies. <laughs> Can't trust him. And that was really good because, like, there's this bit between um, <clears throat> Batman, I don't know, Bruce and Gordon at the memorial. And because it was Gordon that put him away. And he was like, you knew if you if you put a, a, no, a young man in the hands of the police, you know, he's stuff from the get go. Like, you like that's and there's a bit at the end there where, you know, and sorry, that's where he goes. Oh, is that is that is, is that an apology? He's like, would you have taken it if it was one? And I'm like, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, and then later on, you could he's like, I know Gordon wanted to take him in, but gave him the option, and that's where he picked up the kid and said, I'm taking him home. I'm like, that's yeah, that was pretty good. Um, Russell's right, he's excellent, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he's got to just do odd bent on things. Uh, yeah, right? it really fits. Speaking of that, the finale of Avengers Twilight. Uh, this is the best Avengers in the series I've read in a very, very long time. So damn good. Yeah. And even though the even end though is very... Even though you hate the art. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I still hate the art. <laughs> um, and the ending is very paint by numbers Yeah. Works. But it's still good. Like, it's, yeah. I still feel satisfied. Yeah, I just so. oh, like, not... This was basically exactly how I thought it sort of would go. Not right? all paint... Like, yeah, I didn't... Ex- I kind of expect him to come back, but I didn't expect him to be dead. Yeah, yeah. But then that touch at the end was just... Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Him in the suit looked hilarious. Uh, so yeah, old man, old man Cap, finale essentially. Mm-hmm. Uh, it all. That Cap returns. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be one of the variants for the trade, doesn't it? It was from the first was issue. Yeah. Miller's been doing variants. Yeah. Uh, on every issue, yeah. I think. Yeah. On every issue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And there's been a lightning bolt. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say I didn't <laughs> haven't seen any of them. Um. I don't think we ordered all of them. There you go. Yeah, I... It's sensational. Don't want to say too much because, yeah, I know we've been t- talking through it, but it's going to be a great trade when it comes out. It's one, going to be one of the go-tos in regards to referring people to, you know, if you're looking for a standout book. Yeah, whether it's, oh, for uh, sure. It's definitely going to hit the mark straight away. Um, so, Marvel will be out in like two months. <laughs> the, um, I did like the stuff with Thor and Loki yeah, at the end. That yeah, stuff was exactly great. Was about to say. So nice. His little, I brought them together at the yeah. end. Yeah. And, you know, you think yeah. a, a mortal would you be able to speak. You your friends, yeah. basically. Yeah. Yeah. I've, come to, I've come to like you a little. Um, I like, and um, where he's like, you think a mortal would be able to speak to a god? I oh, like that's yeah. it. Yeah. I like that hot banner and Tony yeah. Stark are in Valhalla. Yeah. That was cool. That was a little... Uh, Thor looking yeah. after his mates. Each little epilogue was fantastic. Yep. Uh, it was just a really great book. Mm. It's a fantastic book. Yeah. Like, I can't... There's nothing bad about it. No. Right? Besides and, like, the art. I would like to see more. Besides the art. Yeah, well. <laughs> and his art in some pages looks good. Yeah. yeah. How good did Janet look in that full page? Yeah. That was cool. The yeah. darker pages looks all right. Yeah, because yeah, it's hiding, it. hiding yeah. your shit. Yes. You're 100% correct. 100% correct. Yeah. Just an outline, that's all. Like proper ink mm. or some sort of inking. This <laughs> <laughs> you know? product called inking. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I'm, I'm just want to see his pencils and see what he's. Oh, I guess to see the, some of his sketches, it's, but like those final pencils. Yeah, I want to see what they look me, like without color and it's stuff. Good, but it just gets lost. Yeah, that's the yeah that's it's too problem. clunky. Yes, yeah, too. Well, yeah. well, it sometimes Muddy. looks like um, Homer's makeup gun. Yeah, <laughs> and it's just a little. Yeah. Especially in those lighter panels. Yeah. I still love it. I think it's excellent. I think it's brilliantly written and brilliantly drawn. Alrighty, next up. Ultimate Spider-Man issue five. This is the best issue of Ultimate Spider-Man. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. And yes, it, was it was all about Harry and yes. it was all flashback but we finally got some answers yes. and it was some cool shit. Yes. Yes. One panel and of Spider-Man. And a new... Well, well, it doesn't matter but what's he's coming back for next issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, yeah, this artist. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The... No, friend helping them out was the best. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, Harry Osborn, flashback. Um, excellent Norman at the start. John yeah. Romero Sr. As, oh. as, as Osborn's lawyer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's, it's John Romero. Um, you stopped, eh? No, I'm, I'm still picking it up. I was oh, going to yeah. finish it after the arc. Oh, right, right, right. Um... It's so good. His line about, yeah. yeah, stepping up, about from being a child, becoming a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, no one's a prank oh. early on. And what I also love is the seeds that were um, 
planned it in last issue with Gwen. Yes. You just see those little nudges yes. and the hand and the oh man, yeah. Oh, it's, like Otto. I like so that Otto. I don't know how this is going over with a lot of the people I saw buy issues of it during Free Comic Book Day. Like, there's a lot of young people buying yeah, this yeah. book, <laughs> and I don't know if they're going to be enjoying. Oh, so because I still seeing the internet pretty much rave. Okay. So I also definitely eased off. Sure. Okay. Because yeah, I just when I was seeing a few of the like, you know, and still the, 10, 11, the Spider-Man, year olds. I just was reading stuff like the Spider Man I was I've always hoped for or whatever. Oh. And Spider Man's not even in it. Yeah. Mm. Also, Harry. I did like that Otto looks like sixties Peter, mm. which is very good. Because yeah. you know why this was good? This didn't feel like Ultimate Spider Man Five. It more felt like Ultimate in. Invasion or whatever it was called. God damn. Because it's encapsulating yes, more of the shit of and, and going through the past and yes. why Norman Cause, got, cause got blown you. up and why or who he's got to go after. Yeah. yeah I'll show you the one panel that like will probably did it for all of you. That's yeah. all. And the shocker stuff as well. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. how this he got the, so good. How he got the like yeah. the total Tony Stark shit. Yes, Dave, what what's the panel change? Yes. Oh, okay. And I'm wondering who was supposed to get it? Yeah. 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 It's just that top panel. It's a diagram. That's it. But it's very Hickman. And it's like, it's not oh white shit, page. it's a diagram. It's, it's got page. stuff in it. It's not a white page. Yeah, not enough white. The, the page that got me was early in the book. Oh, yeah. When ha- Norman's like, you're my favourite memory, you Harry. Yeah. Yes. It's like, being a man. it's the day when you stop being a boy and grow a man. Unfortunately, it hasn't happened yet. Yeah. And he'd be like, Wah! No, but the best was, Harry's answer was when we were playing catch, <laughs> and as he's saying catch, it's no, it's this. And what Jay just said. It's your memory. That's your memory, buddy. Uh, but my one hasn't happened yet. See, but then he explodes, so fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> and because Harry was a dead shit and late, yeah. he didn't explode. No. Yeah, was... So who wins there? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Norman's still. Told you. Um, yeah. Kingpin stuff was it's, excellent too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. there's some world building. Yep. Um, so who's it just eye patch supposed to be? The eye patch man. Yeah. Bullseye, isn't it? Hey. I, I, I because think I thought it was bullseye. But isn't he, isn't he like covered in metal? Is that like yeah. the whole thing? Because he's sort of, they stripped all that off him? Yeah. Isn't that, that's how I got... That's well, how it's I like, yeah, what his deal is, to yeah. be honest. I yeah. think it's a mystery to unfold yet. It was just good. It was just good. I liked it a lot. Because I, I thought, yeah, I thought, oh, bullseye. Mm. But then, that bit. Yes. Yeah. He's yes. all metal. Yes. Unless it's, um... No. It's not, it's metal. Metal. It's not multiple, man, is it? No. But the eye oh, thing, I think Do it's think? got to be... Yeah, that's, you know, that's what I thought until that, that that page. Yeah. Mm. But whatever. No, it was a good book. Yeah. Very much. So far. Like, I don't know how I'm it stuck. Like, it had been losing me. That yeah. made me. I at least enjoyed the read. Yeah. And I had a good read through previews, and I think it's going to continue down that track too by the I still need I still the biggest problem though is it's Peter. Yeah. And There's Peter. no, I got no, mm. I don't know what Peter's like. Mm. Yeah, because you can see Harry's motivations. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. all it's Fantastic. all there on yeah. perfectly on the page. We mm. haven't seen Peach yet. Well, and again, it's building. Oh, this is aiming for a different angle. Like, there's a series called One Punch Man. Mm-hmm. Like Saitama, OP as mm-hmm. like OP as fuck. But the story isn't about him. It's about everyone else around him. But so maybe he's, he's going for this with Spider Man. Mm. It's not but really about Spider-Man. he's kind of one dimensional, like as a joke. Yeah, right? like, like yeah. everyone's like, oh. Wh- who is this? What is this guy's deal? And then Saitama's just a like a goofball. Yeah, yeah, I know, but still, like, so, yeah, I know. It could be just I everyone about Spider-Man. Yeah, you know, about one you know? yeah. Um, it could be just about everyone else and not even Spidey. Yeah, I wouldn't. No, I don't. Sure. I don't want that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, because don't call Saitama, it Ultimate Spider-Man. No, I'm not buying Ultimate New York. City. Oh no, no, he'll come in. He'll swing, it's save down. the day. He'll yeah. do like a couple but of like. It's a, yeah, but that's like the last Doctor Strange movie. He was the third player in a Doctor Strange movie. Yeah. And the thing is, Saitama doesn't have like. From what I know, Saitama does not have character development, right? Not no, really, no. Well, yeah, this, this guy does. Um, you probably want Spider-Man. You yeah. probably want Peter Parker to have character development. And if this wasn't called Ultimate Spider-Man, it was Ultimate Ultimates, then you could see it would be a, a, bright, a broader... Ultimate Greek Goblin. Yes. Don't. Stop. Calm down. <laughs> Didn't you read anything else? No, I did not. Don't mess that. Dave? No, no. Nope. Nope. I read the last issue of the Rise, Fall, 
X, oh, yeah. one of those ones. Uh, Powers of X, I think. Whichever. Yeah, whatever. Four or five? Still don't know what's happening. I was gonna say, it's the last issue of, the, of that. Nobody cares, right? It's just like, I'm fine, like, we've got the new stuff. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah okay. Stuff. You've beat Orcus and you've beat... Yeah, so there's no one you've... Oh, they beat him, and, and finally? You've, you've cured Moira, I guess. She's not... She doesn't have that anymore. Uh, is she still a terrible person, though? She's... Or did they gone. kill her? She they, she's killed. Yeah. She's already killed. So she reset, and she said, like, the last panel was like... Her, she, I think she remembers, but she's standing like in a field counting down to when it would kick in, but it doesn't kick in. And she's like, I'm free. But you know, there's uncanny whatever left and a few other things. I'm like, I don't care. I don't know what happened in these two series. I read too much X Men these last few years, and it's fucking annoying. I wish I Fucking Hickman. And lucky there's none coming. The new stuff looks good. I will read nice. those first issues, but I, I think that's it. I'll just read. I'm, I'm done with X-Men. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> no, 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 X-Men and Uncanny. Yeah, I was already the first issues, but I'm, I'm done with X-Men, I think. You've seen it and read it all hunched over. Itches. Just the itch. I'm not a big fan of X-Men to begin with. Yeah. It was just like, Hickman was sort of, I'm like, all right, this is some cool stuff. And then the Moira shit. Yeah, and that was all cool. And that's all over, so I'm done. Fair enough. Where are you from? I read issue four of The Six Fingers. Uh, that's got, I think that's going to be like five part each side uh, one hand and six fingers uh, it's all coming to a head really cool he's like talking to the city and shit it's like the killers are coming through the, the killings are coming through him just nut story so the way that they've put this together through the two books from the side of the killer and the side of the detective has been really cool uh, that and William of Newbury uh, I won't say much about William of Newbury because someone here hasn't read it yet uh, but you are going to love it um, it's Oming doing <clears throat> the art, the story, and the lettering. It is a 12th century monk that's a like a raccoon dude. Okay. So everyone's it's like animal. Uh, uh, yeah. It's like Disney Robin Hood. Yeah. But where they're all animals, but they're people, and it's like a real, actual setting in history. Yeah. And yeah, tw- 12th, cent- are 12th century England. So okay, he's cool. he's going and fighting demons and so forth, and he's. Hum- I didn't realize it was going to be that supernatural. Okay. It's excellent. Yeah. I, I thought it, it was him doing his magnolia. There's a bit yes, of that. There's right. a little bit yeah. of that. Um, but it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. On a tangent, when's Turtles supposed to come out? Uh, about a month and a half. Yeah. This week, you have the Ninja Turtles Alpha, oh, which okay. is wrapping up some old stuff, and then a bit of a preview in the new one. Right. Did you see, while we're on that tangent, you know, it's supposed to be one issue each. Yeah. And yeah one yeah. issue, two issue, three issue, four. All the different mm-hmm. artists. And then it goes back to Albuquerque, I thought it was, maybe, yep. taking over yep. regular. Yep. From issue five, it's uh, he's been replaced by Derek Robinson, which... Seems like such a weird choice for turtles. Okay. Yeah, I don't know about that. Robinson from like Thor? Boys. Oh, the boys. oh, what? Yeah, Derek Robinson. Transmission. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. Yeah, I can't see it in my head. Uh, okay. I don't know. It's, it's, it's like I'm in trees. Is it, is it Ribbon Queen as well? Was that him? No, no, no. No, that no, was no, Jason, Jason Barrett. I guess it's oh, like yeah, yeah, sorry. dirty, dirty. Yeah, Eastman Star. Yeah. Like, you know, like, wow. Yeah. 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 But yeah, just the whole thing. I, I like it better than. I didn't like the idea of one, you know. One, two, three, four. I actually, the guy you should do two is going to draw the rest. I thought that was a weird concept. Mm. Mm. But now. Because, yeah, issue two is in the previews mm. coming up, so and what that's about to be too much. Like. Then? Mm. Should we replace. But Derek Robertson. I don't, I don't like Derek Robertson. Me too, but. Of all people to do Ninja Turtles. Mm. I've never seen him do something like that. And that's he Jason Aaron yes. Jason continuing. Yeah. So, holy shit. He that's usually a... draws just people. People. It's mainly people driven books. And great aliens. Yeah. Uh, and. Might need to start following him on Insta to see if he's going to have any preview, uh, pages, preview pages. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, I seen it the other day. I was like, what? what's wow. going on there? Okay. Um, mm. Yeah, so William of Newbury, for, yeah, just for, to finish it up, like yes. the church doesn't like what he's doing, but he's helping people and goes to New Birmingham. And um, by the end of the book, he's kind of getting, like, he, he's getting chased down by the other clerics and so forth for heresy and, and you know cavorting with demons and and, and um oh, yeah right up your alley dude you're gonna really enjoy it and yeah the art's excellent i've been enjoying oming's art from the blue book because it's a little bit different from what oming's done but this is really really cool um that was it i read that issue one of grommets uh, oh yeah yeah it's fine he's losing kids at a new school let's redeem a persane and yeah. who's drawing it uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I can't remember. It was fine. He's got no friends because he's new kid school and then stuff. At the end, gets friend. All My right. two highlights of the book were 
His dad's driving him to school in the morning and stops off at a drive through bottle out and gets a tall boy and he's driving to school <laughs> that is 1984 yeah, uh, and then he meets his new friend and the new friend's grandpa is going to drive him to the skate park and the grandpa who doesn't look like a grandpa but he makes some inappropriate comments or whatever and the kid's like don't worry he's not going to molest you and the grandpa's like not today <laughs> like, <"What laughs> wow <the fuck?"> uh. <laughs> yeah and so that's, that sort of gives you the vibe of the book, I think. I also did see a pebble, a single oh, pebble, yeah. um, being the culprit in a in a wipeout at the yes. end. Yes. Well, admittedly, I do think it's that could be shit anyway. Yeah. Yes, I related mm. to that. Uh, there's uh, more Spider-Man on the cover of this book than in any of the book. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's one frame, and one panel. Yeah, but he's not. Yeah, he's not even in that costume. costume. No, he's not. But we're five issues in. And you've seen Spider-Man really in one issue. Yeah. Really. And, and you don't know why he's Spider-Man <gasps> from a motivation. Point oh, of yeah, you've been told, yeah. but you don't know why. Oh, Harry, like, did, did Stark just come and give you a, you should be a superhero? He's like, well, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's exactly cool. what I want. Yeah. Cool origin story, yeah. dude. And then Harry's like, I have to do it the hard way. Blah, 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 blah. All this bad shit happened. He's like, oh, way cooler. Mm. Bad guy. Mm. Um... Mm. Bad wife. Oh, for sure. There's your motivation. Um, previews. Oh yeah. Yes. I, I also watched um Boy and the Heron. Oh yeah, how was that? It's really good. Really good. It gave me Spirited Away vibes. Okay. So basically, synopsis is guy loses his mother, or child loses his mother, and then his father and him move to countryside. What's so funny, <laughs> Dylan? That we asked before the pot, is there anything else we want to talk yeah. about? And then there was nothing. It just nothing. came to so, my so, mind so now. now. I'm like, do I write this? Or yeah, you're going to write this. Yeah, Dave dribbles shit for three or four minutes. <laughs> yeah. It's called content. It should be written in every pot. Yeah, trying to think. I like it, I like it. I like it, Dave. <laughs> Keep going, Dave. Sorry, tell us about your heroin. <laughs> Boy, his heroin. Please, yeah. tell us yeah. more. So when he gets there, the heroin... <laughs> <laughs> Comes in a little bag. Annoys him. And like, turns out it's like a supernatural creature. Then... He, but he goes to another dimension because he thinks his mother's alive there. And then, like, it just, yeah, another world and adventure <laughs> ensues. And I'm not going to spoil it anymore because it just seems it's really like good. typical Studio Ghibli. Yeah, like the transport into another world is it's like, yeah, it's what he just, likes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. He yeah, it works. It works for him. Yeah, it's, he, and he, he likes mushrooms. Doing that Jesus. No, there's other ones. This is his last one, though, eh? Yeah, he said that, but now he's, he's he said that. No, it's John, Fon- it's John Farnham last year. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, it's because the other guys haven't been doing as good as him. For so his, from his own opinion, he's like the grumpiest old man who ever existed. Oh, no, it seems yeah, alright. No, no, he's pretty. He's pretty... No, yeah, he's really? grumpy. Yeah. Doco, I saw put him in a good light, but no. yeah. Yeah. Doco, <laughs> I wonder who exactly produced yeah. that. Wow, wouldn't have been himself by any chance. You're right. Uh, can, yeah. Yes, oh, the, the segment oh, yeah, that yeah. was announced, yes. okay. and then Dave just came in. Okay. With Dave, thing. Dave. After the next segment had been announced already, Dave, Dave. Go. X Men. X Men. Marvel previews. We talked uh, about it before. I'm getting X Men. This is the Gail Simone and Marquez book. Very classic X Men team. A Gambit, Rogue, Wolverine, Angelina Mark Jolie. Um, yes, and Jubilee. Um, Tell me that's not Angelina Jolie. Oh, oh, that's so oh, okay. interesting. Yeah. This had the preview Bottom of right. the book day, and I quite liked it. So This one with like the Prisoner X. Yeah, it looks great. It's Xavier. Government hat, huh? It's Xavier. Oh, shit. Yeah. <gasps> because um, it's named X? Yeah. No, no, no. Because because, because of what happens in the box, he sort of gives himself into the government. Spoilers. Fuck him. Oh, Fuck him. Fuck him. <laughs> um, How good is this going to be? But they, this is the big one. Wolverine Revenge, Hickman, Capullo. Dinosaur. Red Band. Wolverine dinosaurs. I don't know how it's going to go, though. What? What do you mean? Well, Hickman's used to, like, total sci-fi and... Hickman can do... Hickman is just a talented writer. He... World building. Unless and... it's Spider-Man. Like, there's a lot of depth. The character. Not the book. Yeah. The, the character. It's yeah. It's there's a lot of depth, <laughs> but, but I think this is not going to be depth. How yeah. did you fuck this up, Dave? Oh, I don't know. Come on, man. No. No, no, no. Surely, but, you know, sometimes... No. Nah. You can be surprised. Yeah. No. <laughs> Not Hitman. A, a different a different group? Yeah. 
Different creative team? Yeah. He's close to doing that to another. No, he's not. We just said the last issue was the best one yeah, so far. Yeah, but it's not none of the main antagonists. He, he continues to not write Spider-Man well. Yeah. Mm. Lucky this is Wolverine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, in that case. Yeah. And like, he, I think he's pretty good at writing fucking grizzled old badasses because Secret Warriors is still one of his best books. Yeah. yeah. And it is simpler. And it's got Nick Fury in it. Jackpot. Okay. It's got Nick Fury in it. Yeah. And not Jackpot. It can't be fucking bad. <laughs> all, right, all right. It's not Sam Jackson, Nick Fury. And it's not this Greg Land face. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, um, I saw. I, I told Jace about it, but I saw a bleeding cool headline. Oh, yeah. Who needs AI art when we have Greg Land? And it was a picture ah! of that. <laughs> <laughs> you made me Greg Land. Like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> he knows. I just woke up today, and that's what I caught. Yeah. I love it. You reckon it's like been on the AI like forever, and no one's figured it out? And oh, we figured it like, out. No, but like that, he yeah. actually he traces. He does what no, the AI does. He traces. Like, yes. Make this. No, but we've we, we, AI like decades before it's been found. Yeah, yeah his technology is a light box, as Jay just said. Yeah, yeah. that's what it is. <laughs> uh, X Factor. I'm really actually quite keen on this. Mark Russell yeah. doing oh, like the government. Didn't realize the government Mark tool team. Like every every country is getting a team. They, you know, the arms race, a mutant arms race. Interesting. And X Factor, like in the nineties, was always the government sponsored sort of deal. That's the deal. Frenzy, feral pyro. Um, so is this gonna be American mutants just loaned out? And pyro. Well, I want to see. I want to see other countries have their mutants. Yeah. Oh, pyro still got his face tattoo. That's yeah, right. I, hate that. I was hoping that would fix something. <laughs> Lasers. Um, He's got a face tattoo. Yeah, remember yeah, the pirates? The skull. This po- no. Yeah, yeah, yeah when yeah, Kitty was, Pride yeah, was like Marauder? a pirate marauder thing. Yeah, yeah she bro. got the. Oh yeah. Got the tats yeah. And he got his face done. <laughs> he got his full face done. And he's got it in this. Yeah. Man, this statement art. Seriously. Yes. So let's continue. Um, yes. Avengers is interesting. So we are getting mm-hmm. Shetty on art mm-hmm. from Gods. Mm-hmm. And because of what's happening after Blood Hunt, I'm guessing Black Panther's not going to probably be in the team anymore. Uh, and Storm's coming in. Oh, yeah. Garbage. No, I think it'll be all right. <laughs> I hate her. Oh, okay. She's not a fan. Fair enough. Not a fan. Um, Rob Liefeld's going to Deadpool again. Yep. I thought he retired. Rob Liefeld yeah. is really good at drawing hoodies. Rob Liefeld is good at drawing the exact same face on seven different characters. You see that Spider Gwen? Oh, that Hulk looks different. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that hood. It's like, you know what it looks like? Goddamn um, paper hat. <laughs> <laughs> Little house on the prairie. Yeah. The body. Wow. The Christa, Christa has not been seen in anything in forever. I don't know who the fuck that is. Is this Crystal Guy? Crystal Guy. They made a legend of him last year. Oh. Some gem Um no. We got a yeah. Bax Dimly of X Men 266, the first appearance of Gambit. For all you fans that like your facsimiles of expensive books that you can't afford. Yeah. I'll be buying. Makes sense. I interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So Predator vs. Black Panther in the next of the Predator vs. series, yeah. I guess, is That's what they pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that could be pretty cool. Uh, on the hunt in Wakanda. Because he comes looking for like, the Predators come for Vibranium. Yeah. Oh, right? yeah. I, I was like, mm. And it's Percy doing it, so uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. And like the Wolverine Predator one was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Um and that had the gimmick of the through time, which this one won't have, mm. I would imagine, but it's just interesting that with Predator, they're doing like a 1v1 one, one one kind of thing, mm. but with Aliens, it's just versus like a Avengers. Team, right? Right? It's yeah. like a whole... Well, that like makes sense, though. Kind of they're thing. kind yeah. of... Uh, if you're looking at the Predator movies, they're quite one-on-one basis in that regard as opposed to Aliens taking down... Yeah, like... It's it's it's, it's a lone wolf versus a brood, like swarm. Yeah. Literally the brood. Yeah, it's the brood. Well, I, that's what I can't wait to see. Ultraman vs. X- Avengers. Yep. Uh, Cole Higgins and Matt Groom. For anyone interested in the creative team, I Googled that. Um, this looks... Sorry, I just had to say that for the one. Um, this looks really Yo. weird. Yeah. Uh, Francisco Manor. I don't know who that is. Neither do I. But I looked it up in the Google. <laughs> And then there's 40 Venom books for Fommy to... Wow. Oh, <laughs> so this shit just looks dumb as hell. Talk about there can only be one rip-off. Al Ewing, at least the art should be okay. So Venom yeah. War is coming. So that's a five-parter. Dylan versus Eddie. There will only be one Venom. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, then we've got Venom War Venomous. One of three <laughs> spin-off. 
Oh, Jesus. Venom Sick War Carnage, one of three spin offs. Oh, Jesus. Then we've Zom- got. Hang on. Let me finish. Shut up. <laughs> Venom War Spider Man, one of four. Greg Land Art. Look at that fucking head. <laughs> oh, oh he's so happy. Venom, and then Venom vs. Reborn. Now, let's step back a touch. Venom War Zombies. That's a great cover. It's such a good... It's actually a really good concept. So, as the two Venoms face off, a darker strand of the symbiotes is slithered in across New York City. That can uh, One that can reanimate the dead and turn the living into engines of mindless hunger with just one bite. That's right. Zombie symbiotes are making symbiote zombies, and you thought they liked eating brains before. Fuck yeah. There's wow. one tie and I will be buying. Show us the cover. It's fucking excellent. Oh, yeah, okay. That's cool. All right. Um, but there, that Greg Land spot, and this Spider-Man one is such, like, talk about trying to just jam another little mini-series in us. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. So, while that's all going on, Al Ewing's not even writing his own fucking book. Torn's got it again. Al, so might be good. Thank you. It's a cool cover, but... But what's weird was, there's no carnage in this. No, because... I think Carnage Oracle would be dead. Yes. That's why he's got the thing. That's what I thought. And he might get another Carnage after that. That's what I thought. So I reckon. Wasn't there just Carnage Mini there? Yes, yes but it's a Mini from... There's, there's no Carnage number at 13. Oh, sure, sure. Like sure, there's sure, the sure. Venom... But it's still torn. Don't you see? Yes, yeah, yeah. That's gotcha, right. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, gotcha. yeah. Mm. Spoilers. Miles stays as a vampire, I'm guessing. Looks like that way. Bloodhunters, Blood Hunters. number one, people. Oh, Didn't yeah. this team look such a... Mm, Dagger... I'm- the Bloodstone Girl and the White Widow and Miles. Sign me up. Okay. I don't know the creative team at all. Uh, I reckon she'll just been doing a lot of stuff lately. Marvel sort of big level minis. Does Dagger not work without Cloak? Huh? Does nah. They... Well, they've tried to split him up a bit in recent years. And yeah. he might not survive this baby. Yeah. Yeah, because it's all the dark. Oh. It's always all sort of coming. Or, you know. Yeah. Well, I thought like, their powers were sort of vampires. symbiotic. No. Okay. And there's a Werewolf by Night one shot in Red Band. Hmm. That might be alright. Could be interesting. Jason Liu. What's Jason Liu been writing he, as well? Uh, nah, he's a new guy. Is he? Oh, yeah. Okay. I okay. Did they Did just he? pump that same cover out for every Spider yes. Gwen book? Yes, yes, they love that cover. It's Archie. Yes. No comment. Every Spider-Man character ever in this one, it says. All right, okay. Spider Society went Okay. This one. This one. We got excited. We talked about it before, I think. Yeah. Spider-Man, Black Suit and Blood. Dylan Newen. Dustin Newen, sorry. Bring it on. Jay Dylan? back on Spidey. You doing a book? Oh, that's news to me. I should probably yeah. draw that. Start, <laughs> start writing. <laughs> Pixel away, boy. Pixel away. I personally would like yours and Dustin's, but oh, that's just me. Crayons. What about Crayons. this one? Yeah. It's the Battle of the oh, what? Spiders. Oh, Ch- Chasm, Curse of Kane. Kane is coming to kick back. Oh, yeah, ass. what the fuck's Kane been doing? Yeah. What's Kane's fucking Scarlet Spider been doing all these yeah, years? Nothing. I'm cool for that. Oh, uh, this one. That's why I asked, oh! you, that's why I asked you Jason Liu was. Yes. The future well, of Denny Rand rests in the hands of Jason Liu. Did you do that DC series? Huh? Did you do the DC series? Monkey Ooh. King. No, was that yeah? Oh, no, nah, wasn't that say yeah? Yeah. No, okay. yeah, I thought so. I think it's yeah. <laughs> but yes, he's clearly, you know the rules. So it's not going to be Danny. Well, it's a new. No, no, no. It's a new new. No, it doesn't say. The future of Iron Fist rests. Yeah. It's the future of Danny Rand. Yeah, I know. Ah. Rests. Yeah. As a mentor to an Asian Iron Fist. Yeah. <sighs> it's not going to be what I want. Cause I got excited too, and then I realised, hmm. No, you just burst. I like, I like, I like, you just burst my bubble. I like Willis, but both of them hit demographics. Mm. You know, it's like nowadays, bullshit Marvel. Mm. Give me my Danny Rand Iron Fist. More Lion Fist in print? No. Damn it. Omnibus. There you go. Buy that. It's good. Uh, action. Mm, I think that's about it, actually. Yeah, Namor's number two. Uh, Incredible Hulk Annual number one, but oh, that's Infinity Watch, that's crap. Uh, oh, Legacy for Spidey, 950. Uh, oh, actually, no, there is one here. What left? Phases of the Moon Knight. Oh, uh, yes. Yes, I did want to talk about this. Yes. We have a Knight Moon Knight. Yes. It's going to be a Look at him, Dylan. Look at him. Knights, I think. 
Oh, it's like night shift. He's got night shift, day shift. What's going on? No, no like no. for history. Oh, he's a knight. Oh, knight. He's a knight. I thought you meant knight with no, like a K. No, like a, with a K. I was like, oh, he's okay. Oh, he's just he's jumping into those. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, loving I'm, it. Might, Good diversity. Might get some cool books. Um, yeah, I was really, really excited about that. Mm. The Denny Earls. That's not the guy who's been doing the fill-ins for Hulk recently, is it? Oh. No. No. It's different. So. Yeah, I didn't think so. Because it looks like he's no doing 15, 16 of Hulk, so no Nick Klein, which is disappointing. Um. It looks like we've got some the end of Doctor Strange coming up. Mm. And um Her hanging out with Thor. Bring it yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, that obviously seems like it's gonna stick for a few issues. And I realized Jeff yeah, Fury was a six parter, that's awesome. Yeah. Um I think that's about it. See for Marvel. I accept that. Yeah. And we look at the DC Connect. Not much in DC. Mm. Absolute power. Heavy yeah. absolute power. Yeah, there was um, that's their main thing. Tons of that. Some of it looks cool. What's that Zero Hour? Zero Hour is like uh, their 90s sort of... Sort of... Sort of rebootish, but not rebootish. Okay. Sort of cleaning up after Crisis, you know, the extra loose ends that right, are left after right, Crisis. Right. Sort of cleaning that up. And Slash tying it in with how going bad. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, so, yeah Al Jordan was a bad guy. Yeah. Okay. So that's cool. 30th anniversary of that. Yeah. For everyone's sort of back for that. Yeah, that's cool. Who's this chip? Jay Sparks from Planetary. Oh, okay. Which is the spirit of the 20th century. And the 21st. Most interesting about that is that like Captain Adam is the bad guy. Yeah. Tom King right now. Black Label, so yeah. Oh. This is interesting. Is this like the continuation yeah, it's a of that of DC universe? Vampires. Okay. Yeah. Good. yeah, it's a big part of their new Elseworld push. Oh, that's those posters. That, okay, cool. Same, Dark Knights of Steel getting mm -hmm. a sequel. Hmm. Years later, Gotham by Gaslight also getting a sequel. Oh, because that was the um, Diggle one? Yeah. Interesting. Um, there's a new Gotham City Sirens. Is that a weekly thing? It must be. That's some interesting covers. They are coming together uh, when a violent and a highly illegal energy drink sponsored hunting operation threatens the lives of wildlife and residents. <laughs> I read that earlier today. He's like, what the fuck's going on there? They lost me at the, the <laughs> cover, so I didn't even read that. Holy shit. Yeah. Um, They're doing swimsuit variants this month, I guess. Again, yes. It's cool. Superpowers variants. Yeah. Um, uh, what are we up to for Constantine at the moment? Is that like three or four? four maybe? Are uh, people enjoying it? Was that Dead in America? Yes. I think that's... It's like five. Okay. Because number eight in this and it looks fucking crazy. I thought it was 12 parter. Um, oh, is that facsimile? Yep. This is the best thing in here. Yeah, I can't wait for that. Facsimile of all new collector's edition issue 56, most commonly known as Superman vs. Muhammad Ali. So this is going to be full big size like that Batman. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. yeah. What's it, what have they got priced on that? $14.99 US. I'm meant to be done with Maximilian. Fuck, you can't know about that. It's too cool. I've got the action figures. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to put the book behind the action figures. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. the Don't fucking, fucking the hardcover they did a few years yeah, ago, yeah, the yeah, pricks. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, did I? So I was after the re I think the recolored yeah. one. I feel like, wait, did I? I don't know. And I think that's about That metal curtain trade's coming out. Um, they got some more uh, facsimiles, actually. First appearance of Swamp Thing. First appearance of Plastic Man. Oh. Just for knitting. Mm. Hey, do you know if I bought the filth trades? Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a shame right. too because this Albuquerque <laughs> art for this IDW uh, internals of Michelangelo it looks amazing in jail and shit. But yeah, obviously it is what it is. Is that it? That's the it. previews. Yeah. Um, nothing else in here. Do you want to talk about? I don't think so. No. I didn't have cool. much. Um, in the Image didn't have a great deal. They got a few new books, but nothing that jumped out. Dark Horse, Master of the Universe Turtles crossover. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, going to talk to you about that. What's yeah. the hair on that? Thing? That is Turtles, yeah. man. They put hair in Turtles. Oh yeah, I'll show you the photo. It's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. What? 
So that's, oh, that that's, is. that's the bear. <laughs> what? A few different... Uh, actually, some cool, interesting stuff in the indie section. Stay tuned. Maybe I'll put a video out about that later. Oh, on. like hair, like on the head? Yeah, like... Oh, okay. Of, for some like, reason, like I was hair. picturing like peach fuzz just everywhere. That was disgusting. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> like, not Sasquatches. <laughs> That's what sunshine worth to watch. Um, right. I hope I'll it looks it. like okay. Let's talk. You know when Kurt Angle shaved his head and came back with like the yeah, 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 yeah. with the it should be that on the turtles. The wanky, the wanky. Yeah. I thought <coughs> it was the Kurt Angle um, cowboy hat. <laughs> cowboy. Okay, for me. Yeah, Your, Titus. Yeah, you film flashback. Titus the Dronicus, uh, uh, whatever his name is. Dronicus. Titus and I should have said it. I thought I had it. Titus and Drogenus. Yes. That would have been better. With Mr. <laughs> with Mr. Hopkins and uh, Jessica Lang and not enough violence, not enough overacting. Um, I get it. I'm not sure there's many actors I want to punch in the face more than Alan Cummings. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the point. Yeah. 100%. No, oh. I like Alan Cummings though. No, I just, you just want to punch him. I think that's his point. I think he played the role well. He's good. Yeah, like He's such an annoying piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like Joaquin Phoenix in fucking Gladiator. He does the plot so well, you want to punch the shit out of him. I swear to God. I start watching this movie the other night, and I'm like, God damn. The movie, you can't find the movie anyway, especially in that way, right? Yeah. And I'm like, God damn. Did I ah, find the wrong movie? Because... <laughs> oh, the yeah! Fuck does that open? What the fuck was that shit? Yeah, well, I guess the whole thing is... They're stretching it out to go from medieval horses to like tanks and yeah, machine common. guns to show how long the war's been going. For. No, 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 no. But no, no. it starts with a kid eating breakfast, yes. playing with his toys. Oh, and then, and, then, dude... and then the dude carrying away. Yeah, fuck oh, it. that bit. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I and then they're out in the, the Colosseum. <clears throat> and then you, that bit. Then you get to the Colosseum, and then you're like, oh, okay, cool. Everything's looking real Roman. And then all of a sudden, motorbikes come in, yeah. and there was like a tanks. freaking little tank thing. Yep. I thought you was going to be modern y. My, my favourite bit was about. Is that modern y? An hour yeah. and a bit into the film. We're like, is this kid in the film? Did anyone know he's there? No one's acknowledged this child once. And then I'm and then I'm like I'm trying to think fuck it out. Are we are we the child? Yeah, are we the one thought, watching this? Thought, thought, and then and then and the Hopkins goes, "Hey, buddy." I'm like, "Oh, yeah. for fuck's sake!" There goes that idea. It was like literally then, thirty seconds later. You don't get any clue of what that kid is until like the he's last in act normal, of the movie. Normal That's like, oh, shit, son yeah. of whatever. Because like, I guess that it was his son. The, no. oh, it's his grandson. Isn't it's his grandson. Yeah, yeah, that, grandson. Oh, the, the guy that got banished. I guess Lucius. it was his son, Lucius's yeah. son. But fuck, he didn't help us. No one held our hand for that one. Steph, this is like one of Steph's favorite, if not her favorite, Shakespeare play, right? Um, did we did we ruin it for her with this movie? Yeah, Fuck she yes. fucking she fucking yeah. the whole time she was just so pissed off that this was my first experience with yes. Titus. Um, <laughs> and, and and what does she recommend? And she was like, "Oh, I guess this is the grandson because it's a kid." Yeah, and because she's read it, it was so <laughs> fucking weird. Yes, and she turned out to be right. It was forty minutes too long. They could have cut a whole lot of... We're especially to say, shit how about, 40 minutes how about that it. scene where he's walking at the end through the gates of the kid? Oh, that didn't take Did long enough. That, that, was was long, that, that needed to be longer. Fuck. I was having micro Oh, he could have been like yelling shopping. at the stones longer. That, he, that was all right. Because it's like, the story I really like. The all story, that is, stuff story is good. It's brilliant. It's amazing. I just hate Shakespeare in English so much. Oh, I can, yeah. It's difficult. Yeah, I, 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 there, like... I had to turn subtitles on. With, with subtitles on, yeah. I, I followed it easier. Oh, yeah, I had subtitles on. See, but I like there's some really good turns of phrase in it. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I like, there'd be whole conversations where I really don't know what the fuck they just said. Because you're trying to figure That's out a skill the first issue. one. Yeah. That's a skill <laughs> issue, Jason. Yeah, I'm not good at English. I was always in a low English class. And they're like... They always make Australian. I never read Shakespeare once at school. Because <laughs> you were in... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you did. You just had the bag with fucking G. Home, nah, he was in school. better English classes. <laughs> more, more better ones. More, yeah, better, more better ones. Better. He's more better. better. Uh, like the dude playing Aaron was very good. Names. He just yes. he just yeah. hammed it up real good. Yep. I was, I was, there wasn't enough of that hamming, I don't think, in this movie. I was a little confused because he was like the only person addressing the camera, right? Yeah, yeah, I didn't like that. Yeah, that was that, weird. When that fourth wall got broken away. Yeah. That no, no, really, no. That, that's Shakespeare, though. I you get it. That. That's fine, but he's the only one doing it. Thank yeah. you. I know... Do other characters do it in the book, in the story? Yeah, I'm not. Again, yeah, I'm not sure. But, yeah. but it, it just seemed like there were times where 
uh, Titus was talking that he probably would have been addressing the audience, right? Yes. But, but he, he kind of played it as he's just talking just out loud. Just talking out loud. Yeah, so yeah. I and it, all of a sudden, freaking Aaron's looking straight down the camera. <laughs> I like Anthony. I like the way Hopkins played it. Yeah, yeah I like great, the yeah. fact that he wasn't... He didn't play it crazy. And that was... Him and the director had a bit of a row throughout the whole movie about she mm. wanted him to be... And he's like, no, I need to be sane through this because... Yeah, I... And the way... I called I, it yesterday. Yes, he did. Because he phones it in in some places real hard. I was, what I said in this is what would have happened. Because he's good at some... He's like, he would have got the shits probably with the fucking director and then didn't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> and just, Sounds like it. Ding, 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 ding. Because <laughs> that's his style. Mm-hmm. Ah, fucking clowns. Because in some scenes, he's really good. Yeah. Because he's, you know, classically trained actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some scenes, he's like, ooh, he's rough. Didn't like his he, direction. Yeah, just one note. Yeah. Um, The chick, uh, Le, Le, uh, Lavinia. 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 Holy hell, yeah. man. Yeah. That was, that was well done. That shit. Um... I just didn't like the fact that no one could thought like write something down with your stumps earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess that's the point of the and story. And what about you got, eight, you got eight pens on you right now? Not just that. Like she puts it on her neck. Old mate, old mate's gobbing this post, <laughs> and she's like, "I'll be good. I'll just put it on my shoulder, thanks." Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, bro! Yeah, that was nice weird. I don't think she wants it in her mouth with no tongue. No, old mate wanted her happy to go. Yeah, he could have done it on his shoulder too, is what I'm trying to get at. Yeah. But he just wanted to show his no gang reflexes. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Um, needed more orgy scenes, personally. Mm. Um, the whole thing felt like a TV miniseries to me. Yeah. I think maybe it was just the digital, that how it shot digitally. Because it just sometimes, it just makes everything look like cheap TV movie. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. I, I, uh, cause I just thought it was just, fuck, just so wank. Yeah, very wank. those aspects of it I really so did wank. like. It, it kind of took wank. me out. Yeah. With the like, really weird digital yeah. trippy scene. And uh, like, it's not modern, but it's not ancient. And it's like these yeah. weird, it's, like, it's lost fucking in the middle. wank. Wankfest, yeah. man. Like, when, like fucking when she's coming to a fucking Nazi riding a Pope mobile. <laughs> like so full weird. Nazi. Like and when she's writing her names out with the thing, it's fucking yeah, it's music all, video. Like, it's just, just, yeah, very yeah. music video, man. Fuck, oh, and uh, the um that shit killed it. The yeah. dinner scene was very like that loud yeah. over the top. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was all just yeah, because the, the basic story, the plot, I was like, oh okay, this is kinda interesting. Yeah. But, um I just couldn't couldn't handle it. I just just felt very pretentious. What do you call that? My muted complainer. I'm oh, like, that was excellent. That was. A... Yeah, I I don't know. I I get what you're saying, but I still yeah I still enjoyed it. I the Shakespearean language doesn't seem to annoy me as much as it seems to annoy oh, no, others. Yeah. Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah, um, I I really enjoyed a lot of the turns of phrase in it and mm. a lot of the the speech and the way that it is um, portrayed. I don't know. I just, um, it's. I think I would be okay more if it was just straight. Mm. You know, if this was just uh, ancient they, Rome. Yeah, same. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, it could have been. I just couldn't handle it. was a bit better, but yeah, the, yeah. the, the, the fact. You're modern, like, but you're speaking. I get what you're forward. trying to do because it was such a. You're trying to show the gravity of this long war, and because of that, there's been technology since, but you, you are. You're lost in the middle of it where it's. Mm. There's no lighting, See, but then I didn't even get that. That was her point. I just thought it was just. I only got that because I read about it. Yeah, I just yeah. thought it was just stroking. Yeah. And the, the the weird tonal shifts, right? It's like when he's getting presented with the heads of his two sons. It's like this fuck. Wh- it's what a the carnival. Fuck is it? It's what a carnival show. I'm waiting for him to throw rings around the fucking yeah. head. It's like well, yeah, the, the, the character's supposed to be the clown, so I guess. And it was like a joke. It's like, ah, jokes on you. You gave up your hand for yeah, nothing. Okay. Yeah. I, I, know, haven't read, I, I haven't read the original. And, so and, I don't know and the other bit that was really <laughs> dumb <laughs> was like the mum leaving the sons. Like I know, like the the rape and the the murder. Like she no, she's got him. Even if he didn't realize and was fucking out of his mind, then click to what was going. Well, just, no, but gee, he, he sold him being crazy so much. Like he yeah, should believe. Like I guess yeah, so. he, well, I'll go do this. Yeah. They can stay here and also. That costume she was oh, yeah, wearing. What the fuck was that shit? With the knives, and you could just tell they were like shitty steak knife. I, yeah, yeah. It's like, are you are you being serious or are you not? Because it kept. Yeah. 
the funny bit there, like when I was reading some of the trivia, when they rape, when they just as rape and murder, and he gets up on him and starts humping him, he had no idea that was all. He had no idea he was going to do that. So his reaction to that was fully, "What the fuck's going on here?" Getting molested. <laughs> oh shit! Oh Jesus! Um, Shakespeare sure does hate women. Oh yeah. I said this last week. Yeah, that's I right. I forgot, I forgot I to talk to you about this, where it's like it kind of lines up with the kind of medieval Christian view on women where they're just naturally corrupted and it's the man it, and it's the man's job to keep the woman in line right yeah. they're just naturally sinful it goes yeah, back yeah, to Adam and yeah, Eve yeah, yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. thing they, right they get their way yeah they're gonna be around fucking around town yeah that's right they can't be trusted so yeah. the man has to them up. that that was the, the the kind of um mentality at the time mm. so it is reflected in his work yeah, he got, he got massive, massive problems. So he didn't write poor things. Okay, cool. Massive problems. Um, also, this was, uh, Aaron was his first black character. Oh. Yeah. You sure? I, think. I thought Titus was after Othello. Oh, I don't know. But that, that's just what I read last time. Oh, okay. Maybe. Yeah. I thought, like, Titus was one of his later ones and, like, Othello was before that. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I had Shakespeare quote in it. <laughs> I, I know I, I was like the top English I know about fucking Shakespeare we went to see Othello at fucking Sydney Uni uh, for school I didn't just because I know about it doesn't mean I have to like it I didn't have to do it in English no <laughs> Um, the whole I did like because it was of the time but the whole thing about the black baby and the whole just gonna kill the baby and all that shit and like, like that's, that's sort of the only redeeming part of Aaron, yeah, only he's just evil. Well, that's that when he's getting buried alive. If I only did one good thing, I want I repent that he was just evil throughout, which was good. He had no, you know, qualms about yeah, 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 his yeah, evilness. Yeah, yeah. It was great. He knew what he was. Yeah, it was great. He was the best bit of the movie. Hundred mm-hmm. mm-hmm. percent. All right, ratings seven, three. Oh. Mm. I'll give it a five. Like, I enjoyed it a lot more than I expected to. There were terrible moments, but like the story itself and the yeah, the, the, the what, story, the is story great, itself right? and the the language of it, I See, really going enjoyed. in. I was going to give it a five, but just talking about all the things that annoyed me, <laughs> how it was, it got bumped down three. I'm going to give it a four. It's not. I didn't hate it that much, nah, but I did not like it. Yeah, I'm going to go four as well. Um, yeah, Steph was very annoyed because she's like, this is the fucking greatest play. And then they did this to it. They didn't put Anthony Hopkins in it. <laughs> and Anthony Hopkins is fucking, yeah, like, like they, they wasted him in this movie. This is also like, should be sort of a good litmus test as how good of an actor you are too. It's I hard think. to deliver those yeah, lines. Yeah, that's what Dana was saying. Like, yeah. just to re- deliver the lines, remembering the lines, to, mm-hmm. just to portray it the way it, yeah, it's... Yeah. Well, I would think the lines, it's not just saying it, like, it's the cadence of saying it. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, what yeah. I mean. It's just a rhythm to yeah. it. It yeah. needs to be your so, natural speech pattern. Yes. And I didn't I didn't think Jessica Lange did a very good Oh, no. Nah, 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 nah. And I don't like her, but oof, she's yeah, not like a Shakespeare. She's not Shakespeare. But you see, like, Anthony Hopkins, like, he did a talk at his school, and they're talking about Shakespeare, it's like, how I act and all that, and how do you do it? It's like, how do you do it? And it's like, oh, you just, you don't act it, you just talk it and go through it, and then what you think, and then he just goes into fucking Hamlet, and yeah. it's like, fuck. It <laughs> like, yeah. How do I act so well? <laughs> no one's seen that Ian McKellen on extras you need to YouTube that Jason alrighty uh, so my choice is a movie from yes the it's a movie 50s or 60s can't remember now Chimes at Midnight I do believe it's called or also sometimes called uh, Falstaff uh, it's a bit of a I, my understanding it might be a bit of a mishmash Falstaff is a recurring character okay. in lots of I've Shakespeare plays oh, yeah, yeah. so it's like his story so it's like a bit of Henry the this and a bit I, of that. I, I was reading up on it because you're telling me, like, yeah. there's like nine sort of, it's nine sort of Shakespeare plays, yeah. sort of bits much in, yeah, bits and pieces, using a recurring character. Yeah. So, like, Henry Ooh, the yeah. oh. Fourth in Rin- King yes. Richard the Thing and a few other ones. So, what a cast of players! Yes, so, and it's awesome, also. That's, Hells yeah! Yes. And, fat, like he did, he, and he, it's he fat Orson well, so you yeah, know it's good. He loved himself some Shakespeare, and I think this was his favourite of it. And like he's got himself, yeah, a fat man's suit of yeah. armour. Yeah, that was crazy. When I seen that picture, that just... Yep, sold. Done. 
and it's only it's under two hours. Yes, okay. so it's an Just, hour and fifty nine minutes. Thank you. <laughs> do, do you know if this is like Shakespearean dialogue? Uh, I'm not sure, but I assume okay. so. Just right. by the time period, I don't think they would be doing. Yeah, I that's right. Not lunches yeah. of awesome. Mm-hmm. I bought that book, My Lunches with Orson. Have you heard of that? Where he's this guy having lunch with Orson and he's wrote a oh, book about it. Cool. And it's just Orson trashing on all of Hollywood at the time. Yeah. Nice. So when I finished it, I learned it. Because, yeah, Orson Welles says he's like, it's one of his, it's his favourite movies. Oh, wow. Something. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And I was saying like when I was reading some, like, what's that, 65? Just okay. like the IMDb, just seeing the score on reviews and somebody's like, it's his best, you know, better than Citizen Kane. I'm like, mm. yeah. all right, this will do. Is black and white too. Yes. All right, that wraps us up for this week. Thank you for joining us. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Give us a review. We'll be back next week with more of this. See you later. Bye. Bye. Did you watch Randall yet?